Hey, Nor, somebody's trying to steal your car. No, they ain't. My dash cam's got smart parking guardian mode powered by A1 motion detection and collision detection. All right, that's <laughs> Nor. <laughs> All right, bro. I mean, ads are ads, but <laughs> you can't be trying that hard, right? So cutting out my promotional tone, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I have a new little goodie for the E91 M3. I'm doing some upgrades to it, and I figured while I'm actually getting some upgrades or reaching out and trying to figure out what kind of things I should do to the car, I might as well reach out to a few companies and see what my car needs and try to get the best of the best for my car. You guys already know I got the best of the best exhaust system for my E91 M3. I'm trying to do the best of the best interior little hint right there for my E91 M3 fully custom I'm doing the best of the best paint job on my car so I'm also trying to find the best of the best dash cam for my car which is today's sponsor of today's video 70 my Introducing the latest and greatest front and rear 4K camera from 70 Mon. Back to my normal voice. This is the dash cam all of you guys have been wanting. A dash cam that actually does its job. This dash cam right over here is from 70 Mon. I've been reached out to by a lot of companies making reviews on dash cams. I honestly haven't been happy with any dash cam I've ever received just because of how the image clarity is. This is the best dash cam I've ever had. The most extreme image clarity I've ever had is just crystal clear. And it has partially to do with Sony's image sensor that's built into this camera. It uses Sony's latest one to 1 1.8 eight amp image sensor. It's called the IMX678. You can get into a bunch of details, but long story short, it is just really, really, really clear and especially in low light environments. And did I mention this is the industry's first dash cam supporting HDR 4K front and HDR re-recording. It even has a smart security guard powered by AI algorithms, which is pretty cool. So enough talking technicals, let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. We're gonna install the front dash cam and the rear dash cam and just get them connected for now. The steps are pretty easy to install, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just run through it. So now that both cameras are installed and connected, now we just have to actually give the whole camera assembly power. So what we got right over here is a hardwire kit. Um, the kit does include an easy plug and play kit that you can plug into your cigarette lighter. Uh, but in our case, I want it to be super clean looking. You can't see any wires. And that means we are gonna be hardwiring it to the car. So we do have our ground wire right over here. I went ahead and crimped on um, this little circle thing here so we can easily just uh, you know ground this bad boy. Um, and then I actually put on two self tappers onto their hardwire kit um, that basically allows me to tap into two different fuses uh, one that has active power and one that has I believe this one means active power and this one means power when the car is off so I'll show you guys what I end up tapping into for my particular car so for those of you guys who have an M3 I'll show you guys what I'm doing exactly but yeah once we actually get all this connected all we have to do left is pretty much just connect it to the cameras and we're good to go so after messing with this for a little bit I actually figured everything out pretty quickly so this is the hardwire kit I got the wire pretty much routed all the way up here all the way connected to the camera and as you guys can see the camera is on it just needs an SD card let's go and just bring that down so there's no stress on that cable right there but that was looking so much cleaner so coming down right over here what i actually did to hardwire this bad boy if you guys look right over here this screw right over here this actually mounts to the frame of the car so that's what i went ahead and grounded right over there and then the two fuses i picked for my acc and my vcc um for my vcc i chose fuse 25 and for my vcc i chose fuse number 62 so every car is a little different so make sure you check your fuse diagram i pretty much use the fuses that pretty much didn't really mean much to the car itself so like for example, I didn't use any of the fuses that had to do with like, for example, the check engine light, the fuel system, um, anything major, the fan, the gearbox, anything major, don't tap into any of those. Pretty much tap into like accessories like your AC, your TPMS. That's pretty much what I did on mine. Your VCC fuse um, goes into a fuse with constant power and your ACC fuse pretty much uh, taps into a fuse that has power only when the car is pretty much has power to it. Like when you put the key in the ignition um, and 
whatnot. So that's pretty much, again, how we wired everything up. So as you guys can see, I had to remove the glove box. And in order to remove the glove box, pretty much I had to remove the two cup holders as well. And then uh, that just pretty much slid out after a couple of screws getting removed. So yeah, that just makes it pretty much the easiest way. And then I routed the cable through here. You guys can see pretty much the wire right over here. Routed it through this panel up here. Um, that is the easiest and cleanest way, in my opinion. I'm sure a lot of you guys have different opinions and different routes you guys want to take, but this is the route that I like the most. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck up all this wiring, put the glove box back, and then this whole section is going to look so much better with our built-in now rear and front dash camera. All right, guys, so we have the camera set up right over here. We have the front dash cam right over here, and we also have the rear sitting right there looking super nice. Now, it is upside down, but when it comes to actually putting on an SD card and pulling it out, we can just flip that upside down. Not a big deal. But just to show you guys a couple cool things about this camera, if I go ahead and click on the settings on this camera, we got video settings, system settings, format, parking security. This part's pretty cool because this dash cam can actually record time lapses, collision detection. So as soon as you get into an accident, go and just click into that actually. And then you can actually adjust to where, um, how long we record in, uh, in in case of a you know an accident um, and how fast it would actually respond to it uh, when you do get into a car accident. It has AI motion detection algorithm that makes it able to identify suspicious human activities in front of your parked car and activates recording automatically. And you can go ahead and adjust the sound settings you can download the app there's a bunch of things you guys can actually do with this camera the primary thing for me though that i absolutely love about this is the 4k capabilities it is just crystal clear it uses literally sony technology to actually record with the front rear camera 4k quality so literally from a trusted band which is sony they're using their technology in their camera which is actually pretty sick these cameras i believe are pretty new i think they just got released in august um so yeah new camera good technology Perfect, perfect, 4K. And actually, if we click on this button right over here, like I said earlier, it's easy to just switch to the backup camera. And then if you wanna go ahead and record an emergency, uh, just for whatever reason, or if there's an emergency, you just wanna record it because you're at a car event and you just wanna record the people in front of you real quick for some reason, you can go ahead and just click on that button and it automatically emergency records this entire situation. So if you wanna do a rip on your car, like just you know banging through gears, getting on the on-ramp, off-ramp, it automatically records front and rear camera for you right there. You can just click of a button, which is super sick. Or if you're actually in an emergency, just see again click of a button it's pretty sick <laughs> now without further ado let's go ahead and get it on its first drive see the quality of this thing um, i'm going to try to get some day clips and some night clips um so we can get pretty much you know the visibility of how good this camera is during the daytime and the nighttime um and also uh, i just want to take this car around you know rip it a little bit show you guys some footage of that things gonna be a pretty banger video pick it up better like the dash cameras can pick it up better than my camera Ooh. <laughs> is this recording emergency evidence <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the sound it's like oh that's not normal <laughs> You guys see how clear those plates are? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that feels good. I'm ready. by 70 Mai's Night Owl Vision. Basically, it's the 1.8 large aperture that helps bring in more light in the dark. So 
anywho, guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. The next video is gonna be also another banger video, and that's gonna be on the sick F80 M3 seats chilling right over here. I'm doing a full interior conversion on that car here pretty soon, but I figured we might as well start with the most important thing. I'm trying to make that E91 F3, like I said, guys, the best M3 wagon out there. So uh, for those of you guys who are enjoying the build, make sure to stay tuned for it. And I'm trying to upload more and more videos on this main channel of mine. I'm actually thinking of more towards shifting more personal. Um, I mean, obviously do with cars, but also more of a personal thing. There's a lot going on in my life recently that I kind of want to show you guys, because for those of you guys who've been following me for the past five, six years, you guys know there's been a lot going on in the past couple of months, in the past year with my life, and I figured I'm going to start sharing it here pretty soon. What I mean by that, there's a lot of things that are happening with my personal life that's going to be impacting my future for the next 10, 15, 20 years, um, and definitely a positive note, but I definitely want to keep you guys posted and just try to keep you guys updated with my life and try to instill a little bit more of a positive vibe on these YouTube videos, because I know a lot of people are trying to elevate in life, and they're not really understanding why they keep getting hit and hit and hit, and they're like, what's going on? I guess, you know, the, the amazing life is not meant for me. The amazing life is meant for everyone. I'm just going to say this right before I conclude this video, before I get into a whole bunch of motivational talks and, motiv you know, I'm, I'm just a huge, I love motivational things, and, you know, when I talked about motivational things, I kind of get off track. Anywho, Nor, relax, bro. What I'm trying to say is, the thing is about life, for those of you guys who want to achieve new things, for those of you guys who are struggling and always facing obstacles in your life, just remember that those obstacles are put in your path to make you a stronger person, to make you a better person for your future and achieve the goals that you want to achieve. Without those obstacles, you'll never be able to honestly achieve your dream things in life. For example, that car or that house, because to get a car and a house that the average person doesn't have, you have to go through things the average person doesn't have to go through. So, so yeah, that's kind of like my little motivational speech of the day. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to get, I want to get you guys more involved with my life. I want to get you guys more updated with my life and start doing more of a personal content here on this YouTube channel, including again, my personal cars and myself. So yeah, look forward to that in the near future. Without further ado, let me know down below guys, are you guys gonna cop this sick dash cam or not? I mean, come on, it's pretty sick. Best dash cam I've ever had and uh, it actually does its job.